Welcome back to Snap-on Tools from the ground up. Next, we get to drop in the Ford Performance Illuminator 5.2 XS engine. Dude, you guys are making history here. This is the only engine of its kind, the Illuminator 52XS. This thing's unbelievable. This thing was actually hand-built for us for this car, so it's pretty awesome to finally get some crazy power in an awesome race car. This thing makes 580 horse for 430 pounds of torque. It's more than 150 horsepower than its predecessor, which was the Illuminator 50XS. There are some steps that need to be made in order to get this thing turned over. If you could, walk us through it. We got a fuel safe cell in the back that'd be plumbed up front. We actually got a dry sump, which is kind of a lot of plumbing going on. And all these lines go into an external pump. Thank God we had yes for on the wiring. Get it all set up with some coolant, some oil, and get it to fire. So here, so you're taking out the brand new ATEC half inch torque wrench. Looks fancy, but it's got a lot of features you can use around the shop. It's nice, it's got a long reach to it. It does between 15 to 300. We just did pressure plate bolts at 30, so it's pretty cool. Now we're going to a crank at 100. You mentioned the torque, but it also features angle element, which is very critical and is a required element on a lot of these engines. We needed that for the time and chain cover, so we had to do 15 pounds of torque with 60 degree angle. A lot of these modern cars require that, so it's a very critical tool. Yes, Bird, let me stop you there. That looks like a bunch of wire, and you wired this thing yourself. You gotta marry the Ford engine with your universal wiring harness, but what are some of the features that a guy like yourself would like about that Multiprobe 900? I'm using this to check for voltage in here. I also use it for resistance, for like the fuel level sender, something like that. You can check amperage with this thing too. It's a great tool. Huge display on the back, the LCD display. It seems ergonomic, and I'm seeing a light here for the dark places, and the battery's way over there, so you can right. get around the whole car yeah. you know, without kind of moving your power unit, and you're diagnosing all your problems because we're moving even closer to start this thing up. That's right, can't wait. Well, it looks like you got your work ahead of you, so I will let you get back to work, bud. Thanks. Tyler, looks like you're modifying the frame. What's, uh, what's the reason, what's the justification? Since this is a race car, we upgraded to a fuel cell in this. The filler neck was interfering with a couple of the stock bars that they had in place. So I cut those out and I'm reworking the structure here to provide clearance for that filler neck. Well, you're gonna have to reattach some metal. That's why we have this snap-on welder. What do you like and prefer about this machine here? We have the new 225i Pulse MIG. For this situation, it provides plenty of amperage to burn into an actual chassis. It has an easy to read display. It's got a Synergic setting on it. So all I have to do is set the thickness of the material and it's gonna compensate the wire speed and amperage for me. The perfect machine for this application. Well, if you're gonna weld, you're gonna need this. There you go, let's see the sparks fly. Here we go.
The first ever Illuminator 5.2 XS has been started. Ford Performance hand built this engine for you. What does it mean for you and your team to have the only engine of its kind start here in your shop? Huge moment here. I mean, the thing just fired up on the first shot. Well, the thing sounds awesome. It starts, but we gotta make it look even better. What's the next step? So we gotta finish some aluminum work in the back, and then we're off to the back of the body. It's gonna look like a real car, and we're done. Thanks for watching Snap On Tools from the ground up. For more Snap On videos, click here. And for all things Snap On, be sure to subscribe.